weird bubble. Welcome back to the bubble, ladies and gentlemen, and Divide and Conquer version 5, where we are playing as Breland and the Shire. I am super excited about recording this episode. Uh, I basically spent most time um, of the day at work thinking about it because I was so excited. Don't really know why, but uh, I feel like it's going to be a really enjoyable episode. And um, watch me eat those words in like <laughs> during the coming hour. Uh, one thing that I did before starting this recording is just move Morty uh, to that mine because it was a reflexive reflex click. I just wanted to get him towards that mine. And as you can see, the merchant trade has increased a lot. So now it's 4.8k in trade. I'm thinking that it would be a good idea to see if. There is a similar mine that my other merchant can go to. The one down here. He is making quite a bit of money here already. 1.3k. And I don't think there's any mine close to here where um, he would be making a lot more. Actually, the merchant name is Nick. Morty is the, uh, is the spy. So if we move him down to here, for example... Where you could get enough visibility. So many big armies here in Eredluin. But Angmar is wiped out. So they don't have anything to do there. But if you can just walk up to that mine. And see if we can make more money from that one. That would be great. Because apart from mines. Of course we have our little bread baskets. Here 400, 500. And we also have this one. 80. Okay that was not that good. 224. 487 so there are a couple of good uh, ways to make money of course but for now we can stand there and we are making a lot of money in this episode we will keep sieging Herot obviously because we can't attack it without the game crashing I also think that we still have the invisible army laying siege or not laying siege but just hanging out outside of outside of Olkford so I would hope that they uh, attack soon can we retrain anything here no but I do hope that they will attack soon, so that I can attempt, so I can try to get rid of them. We will be attacking Isengard in this episode yes, as well. No. This army of a lot of trash, basically, will attack Baelorn. And once we've taken that, it's a stronghold, so it's not going to give up without a fight. But once we've taken it, I will just give it to uh, Gondor. Uh, who have already given Karas to, and it looks like they already have it. Oh, or they still have it, sorry. But Isengard is... My lord. Um, not giving up too easy. They do have a lot of armies, and that's something that I'm going to have to fight. So I'm thinking about going on the same route as I did with... Um, with Rune. Basically, uh, recruiting anything that is armor penetrating. No matter how like trashy it is. So that's... Journeyman, for example, that's five missile attack, and that's of course, uh, and armor penetration as well. So that's good. We have those lads, might as well just queue them up. Could get a lot of artillery as well. In Oakford, we can't recruit anything right now. And Londere, we can also get, we can get the merchant infantry, those are effective against armor. We also have the watchman axe guard, effective against armor. Actually, I can recruit them already here. I think I might do that and journeyman and I also think I might go with pikes farm and pikemen because they can just hold the units uh, at length they are really cheap but also I think they might be um, they might give a high uh, reward for the cost so to speak be cost efficient so we can start recruiting a bunch of them and also we have where can I recruit those I think we have lumbermen here yes Lumbermen, they are poor morale, poor morale response, but they have a high charge type and they are effective against armor as well. So they could be efficient at like charging in the backs of um, of the Urukai that we will be fighting. So I'm thinking just getting a whole bunch of these um, and just send them south to equip them with a better armor and then uh, just throw waves of units into this basically. Order, That's my lord. what we're gonna do, and eventually, when Hirot, when this army is, um, when this army is uh, freed up to use, 
I will be able to move them south. Hiorot, I will give that to Enidwaith. Hopefully they will be able to help. Tharbad, I am recruiting more armies. And I will be sending uh, generals there as well. I'll have at least one here, Arnie. But also, I have you. Yes, my lord. Um, what's your name? Hob. On his way. And I'm thinking, another thing that's armor penetrating is the hobbits, the sheriffs. So I'm thinking that we might want to get some of those as well. A lot, like I said, a lot of trashy stuff. And also, because they have... Um, because they will have a lot of wargs. We will need a lot of merchant cavalry, even though they have weak um, morale. They are skilled against mounts. So I'm thinking they could be a pretty good idea. And just recruit the absolute crap out of all of this. I think that would be uh, good. So we're going to go uh, on with mass here. Uh, we've all we have wiped out Angmar, so they have their little independent army here. Don't really know when I will be able to free it up, but I have been able to free up pretty massive army out of Morvatarth. I think that I will be moving even more of these lads south. To be uh, to be honest, um, I do need you. Don't have any retinues. You have marks of war, hit points. Okay, so skilled bureaucrat. Okay, I'm thinking. That I really want both Otto and um, and Aldaron. I want them on the field as well as my faction leader. I desperately need him on the field as well. So what I'm going to do is try to move these um, basic generals. I can actually do that with you right away. Let's move you up to Karn Doom, where I hope that you will be able to replace Aldaron, so we can move him down south to help out there. Don't really have any engineer guard dog. I'm thinking, what do you have that makes you a good um, governor, overseer? That's something that I could give to the new governor. Doctor, I want you to keep that. Farming advisor, another thing to put to the new governor. And that's it. Right. Let's actually end the turn, I think. We have moved everyone as much as we can, I'm thinking. Right, another thought, another thing that I plan on doing. These troops, I can replace you with just a uh, Breland Militia, and then I can move them down south. Same thing here. I will actually recruiting quite a lot more here. But I'm thinking just replace you with, some, with something boring that's free upkeep, and then move them south. The bandits I might just as well disband, I guess. Michael Delving, we are recruiting here, and here we can recruit a whole bunch of basic stuff as well. And then all of the armies will just start marching south, just throw them against the walls of um, Isengard. Oh yes, Trash City. I'm just thinking that they are cost efficient, in that they are effective against armor. Yes, my lord. I would like some of these lads as well, actually. So for now, let's just put you there, and I'll see if I can recruit some of that uh, in the next turn. Okay. Enough uh, prolonging, or enough stalling. Let's end the turn and see what's happening. If we're going to be attacked by Dunland, they only have one region. They have a Doomstack somewhere uh, wandering around. I don't know where. I haven't found it uh, when looking at the map. So either that's invisible as well, or it's just hiding out in the shadows somewhere, uh, marching towards any of my cities that's bordering Hiorot, basically. Um, but at least they won't be able to recruit from there because I'm sieging their only. Um, I'm sieging their only. Okay, still yet the hunger could save them. For hunger is more than drive some other men to victory. Okay, but it's not about the doomstack here. I don't think. Righto. End of turn report. We made a lot of money, but look at what we have right now. So basically, we spent 24k on something somewhere. A lot of retinue expansions. Mining advisor. That's good. And Brathor, right. You're actually a governor, so that's okay. And Buka, farming advisor, right. You're actually a governor as well, so that's absolutely cool. 
I would like to put these money into a Dunedain armor or something like that if we can afford it. Construction. Oh, hot damn. Dunyard, you got that upgrade. Now you're going with the trading post. And I think Dunyard would be a great place to use uh, to launch attacks. And then I'm thinking that everything south of Dunyard we can give to Rohan. I think that's how I'm going to do go about this. So we're going to build a... I can't afford to build... I can't start building that now. Anyway, go by drain. I don't need anything up here. Fairground would be nice. Or recruiting a whole bunch of troops. Fairground. Yes. And just like that, we're super broke. Suduri. Should I queue anything up here? We have some cheap market buildings and whatnot. And eventually we should start building Lord's Hall, roads, armor, all the juicy stuff. And Litasha got the Traveler's Way Station, so you're working on culture. Also, I'm thinking that we can at any minute be attacked by Gundabad, so I need the militia garrison up here as well for some extra protection. Right, right, right. And Suduri, I've already started that. Baradvin, that's good that you can get the best armor now. And retrain that. And then I'm thinking Lumber Camp is good economy. Royal Hall. That's something that we absolutely need. But also, of course, we need the roads everywhere just for increased income. And then we have... Um, Gobadran, I've already been there. Tyrngar Thade, you get the fairground. Trading Plaza next. Lord's Hall after that. And I'm thinking we need the blacksmith here as well and eventually a Dune Dane armor. And then... We got Mikkel Delving, got the Trading Plaza. Is there anything else really good here that we can get? Might be the best idea to just start going with the Royal Hall. We already have a Lord's Hall here. But I'm thinking a Blacksmith would be good. So we don't have to start retraining troops everywhere, but rather they will come uh, equipped and ready to go. Cool. Then let's check the recruitment. Bree has a pretty good army going. And retrain what we have here. Train new troops as well. We will need a shit ton of cavalry. Average morale, that's actually good, so train them. And then we have Corvillishar. That's trained a lot of good troops. Don't really need anything more now, but I do need you to march where you can be retrained. I guess Tharbad is the best on the way for you. Then we have... The Vorn Merchant Cavalry. I think you can be retrained in Londaire. We'll oh, right. Yes, We're supposed to use you to recruit yes. troops. It looks like Lord you can still recruit. With honor. Even if I pass honor. over here. That's yes. good. So then you will get a whole bunch of mercenaries. And... The Vorn have already moved... Actually, looks like you should get some of those as well. Some of those and some farmhand pikemen. And then we have Briegost. Orders. Both of you my lord. can start moving to Londaire as well. We can go no Your will. Yes, my lord. That's good. And then... Oh, so many troops to move. Dan Larak. Both of you. Your will, my lord. I think... You can't be... Oh, you, you have a blacksmith. Dunyard. I think blacksmith is the best army we can give you right now if we don't want to send you all the way to Baradvin, which we might just as well do, to be honest. Move you over there. Won't recruit anything more for now. The duty. All of you can move... Right, we need to move you into Londair for retraining. Orders. Not the ballista, but you, wish. you lads. Londair, and in Londair, we will be... We will retrain. Oh, we can't actually retrain them anymore. Interesting. Interessant. And in Londair, we are training stuff. Actually, your you will, can move into the fort, free upkeep, command. and whatnot. And then we have some retrained units. Right, there we go. Uh, still making 24,000 each turn, which is really good. 
And this is uh, a bit unnerving. That their army isn't near Olkfoot anymore. So where are they? <laughs> Faction leader, right. That's where they are. Your orders, my lord. So if I were to use this army and attack the faction leader, I don't know if the game would crash again. I don't know, actually. Well, let's just keep sieging Heorot and then I'll fight whatever I have to fight eventually. You can move into Dunyard. And is there anything we can or should we train? No. But we keep getting these absolute trash armies everywhere. That's a lot of fun. Now, I would like... Can you get into this stronghold? Yes, you can. Great stuff. And now, we have spies. We already have one up here in the north, so you can start marching south. Yes, my lord. And you start moving. This is our official, not really our official, but it's big start of our declaration of war against Isengard. The action that might just bite us in the keister. You get down here. But we can't afford to build a tower yet, so we just honor. put you on the uh, corner here and then you build a tower. That's gonna be sweet. Now, I'm thinking that I might as well just take a whole bunch of these troops out. Can't really retrain anything more. Can't get another merchant. Mm. Let's just leave it as is for now. You have two units there and a lot of units here, but I would like to retrain as many of them as possible. We are starting with the Great Roads, but I'm also thinking that we need tra Trading Plaza and we need the Great Hall. We need so many buildings here, so might as well start queuing it up, actually. Good. Now, you are going towards Tharbad as well, where you will be retrained. And I'm thinking that everything that has good enough uh, armor here... Let's see... Nothing... You, have, you will be retrained. Everyone else is basically good right now. So all of you... They move out into the fort for now. We're going to lose some money doing that, but I would rather like for Eunice to start moving south, to be honest. Actually, all of you can start moving. Uh, you can join them. And all of you move down to Tharbad. That's our halfway home. And you will be retrained. That's great. Now, you will be ready next turn. We are recruiting on so many different places. I would like for all of... Okay, we actually need to start training an army up here as well, I think. And just start sending everything everything south. We do have the economy so far for it. And nothing here, really. Farm and pikemen, yeah, but no. Great. Great, great, great. And you will keep moving? Yes. Right, I didn't want you to pass the Goblin Territory. And... Dunyard. We do have an army here, but we need to give it a leader. We need, it to, we need to give it a general. So if I move you out, what happens in Dunlarak then? Okay, you're still happy, just not as happy. Move you into Dunyard. And let's see if we can give... That might have been really dumb. You can start moving into Dunlarak, and we'll see if anyone moves in and takes it, like this cavalry unit. Let's hope not. Damn, this was stupid. Your orders, my lord. We'll see what happens. And um, Baradvin. I mean, these units he could start going with some more pikemen, some journeymen, some cavalry. Now we're building huge armies. Not very efficient armies. And I think we are ready to end the turn. Okay, a lot of movements that I forgot. But all of them are just moving anyway. So I don't really think it uh, matters too much that I forget to move them in the turn. Because I have clicked out the set path for them to walk.
Hope everyone's doing all right. In Sweden, it's really, really warm today. I think it's like 27, 28. And um, glistening sun. And that's warm. Pretty humid as well. I think we need uh, some rain. Uh, right. Already broke again. So we are spending our money, that's for sure. Now, you... It's just join all of them up. You're all moving the same way anyway. And no, I can't give you anything good right now. Londair. And you. To, you can join them. And then Londair. And Londair. Right. And they... Oh, where? Freaking invisible army. Can't even see them on the field anymore. Orders, my lord. You move into Dunyard. You move into Dunladak. As you wish. And yes, my lord. I think we started making more money in uh, Dun Dunyard. I just want to see what makes us so much money. Buildings, admin, two fifty nine. I don't know. I don't know what he's so good at. Okay, but we need to start queuing up the armor here, actually, and we also need the trader exchange and whatnot. Uh, Royal Hall, we need all kinds of things. Culture is not an issue. You can get another spy, though. Okay, so, you. Your orders, my lord. Build a tower. This tower will keep Isengard capital lands. pretty strong right now. You are pretty weak, so what we could do is attempt... We could have a one-turn siege. Because we have um, yes, artillery. We can do the same thing here, actually. So, let's just quick save this bad boy. Ooh, just got nervous. Look at that. Negative 7k in profits. Hot diggity. Uzra Doom can be upgraded, so we shall. And then, queues are stalled. We're Baruch. Red to new expansions, that's awesome. Construction report, right. Regost, roads and whatnot. And now you're upgrading the city, which is just great. Trader exchange after that. Just things that make us money. And Byrick at the trading post. I'm thinking trader exchange here as well. You're just a city. Although, yeah, we should, maybe we, yeah, we should get the Dunedain armor here as well. Mount Graham, Merchant Bank, Merchant's Quarter after that, Trader Exchange, um, something that decreases the corruption, then we have no correct law, we're getting all these good uh, economic buildings, the thing is it just takes up a lot of space, or uh, it takes up a lot of money, rather, okay, and more Tarth, Traveler's Rest. Now we can upgrade that bad boy as well. And then we can get the Trading Post. Great stuff. And Dunyard, already building a bunch of good stuff. I think we're done here. Yes. Okay, Recruitment Report. This is going to take a while, I think. Yes, so I'll be pausing the recording. And then I'll get back when I've started moving everyone, I guess, towards like Bree or something like that. So I'll be back in a minute. And there we go. <laughs> yes, my lord. That was a freaking exercise and a half. I think I've been sitting like five minutes just moving troops around. Working on um, just right, moving everyone to where they are needed yes, the most. I mean, moving them towards like Tharbad and moving them to Bree where they will get full armor. And uh, one squad. Let's see where they're at and moved some of them from Tharbad into this Breland fort here because they had the maximum armor they had a bet they had a good armor and I guess that you, you you are as upgraded as you can be so you'll be moving into that fort as well and Londaire we actually finished uh, with a lot of troops so they will be moving south to Londangren most likely they will need to reinforce this army here and I just hope that these ballistas will be enough to take Baylorn in one turn. And that these yes, catapults and ballista and armies, soldiers, will be enough to take Isengard, the Isengard Citadel. Because I think that's the highest level that it can get. So we can technically exterminate that one and just uh, give it to Rohan, I guess. And just keep pushing deep into um, 
yes, into sir. Isengard territory. Without question. Olkfud is still strong, and I want them to. I, I want to keep them that way until uh, we've taken Heorot and uh, officially wiped out Dunland. So what we're gonna do now is stop stalling, even though that's my favorite activity. You, sorry, I missed one. God damn it! You can start moving to Tharbat as well. And uh, I guess we'll start with Baylor. Quick save. Yes. And we can attack you right away. And according to the balance of power, we should get, have this in the bag. So I've quick saved it again. Auto resolve, clear victory. We lost 210 troops, but that's absolutely okay. And you are a stronghold, so I'm thinking we can exterminate the population here. Our courage and honor have and that should make them happy enough. We did lose a lot of our ballista troops. I'm just going to merge those lads up and start repairing whatever we can afford to repair. Can't retrain anything. Uh, but this is good. I'm thinking Balorn would be good to give to Gondor right away, actually. Let's just keep uh, take a little gander at the uh, culture in this bad boy. Okay, 4% doing it again. I don't think that's enough. But we can start just destroying whatever they have that we don't need. Looks like we actually need Hunter's Guild. Ooh, Archers. That's a good thing. So we'll not be destroying that. Catapult Maker. Uh, practice Range. Destroy that one. And then... Okay, they didn't really have any more things here. There's a pretty rich settlement. I'm thinking that it would be... Yes, I will be uh, giving that to Gondor right away. Actually, we have destroyed what we need. We got some money out of it. So I will walk out of Baylorn with my agent. You start moving down south. You will look at this stronghold. You don't go into it right away. Just stand, stand outside. You can take this army. I would like to have the reinforcements come down as well, but you can just keep marching south. Then all of you lads start going south. War between Breland and Isengard. Just a matter of time, I guess. And I will give you... Uh, I will give you Baylorn. And in return, I just want you to be happy. How could we refuse? Well, that seemed fruitful. Yeah, well, you really can't Farewell. refuse it. You did get a garrison. Yes, That's awesome. And you just keep moving towards we this fort. Engage. And of course, Lord, approaching I need to. Okay, Isengard is actually besieging them there. Now I need to start get, getting eyes on. Um, all of these Isengard region, Kilrith, Eor, Eor, I would like to get that one as well. We need generals down here that can lead armies. I don't really have time for you to wait for mercenaries, to be honest. I need you in the, in the south. Oh, look at that. They're twins. Yes. Beautiful. And you keep sieging there for eight turns, that's okay. Now, let's see what we can do about this one. Your orders, my lord. Quick save again, I'm gonna do that as much as possible. And we can attack them at prevail. once. What? In the bejesus. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Defenders. And Urukai archers and done landing long spears. And what do you have? Urukai bodyguards. Okay, we have a shit ton of archers. We have Catapult and Ballista. I'm thinking that this could be a hoot. That although, if they charge out, I'm toast. Toast covered in toast butter. But still, sometimes you just gotta risk it to get the biscuit. I've quick saved again. Uh, we outnumber them just slightly. We have some cavalry if they decide to charge out, because only the long spears really are dangerous against um, cavalry. And I'm thinking that I should give this one to Rohan as soon as I've captured it. Although, I very highly doubt that they will be getting a garrison for their troubles. Uh, so I might just exterminate the population, destroy some buildings. And then... Um, and then give it to Rohan. Fortunately, they don't have any towers here. I'm very happy about that. Now, bombastic things. You can stand right here, and then I want my missile units. Sorry, I need to shut off the uh, skirmishing. You can stand right here, not fire just yet. 
And then we need all the pikey boys. Sounds like a... Sounds like a boy band, the pikey boys. And then we have some more shieldy pikey boys, shieldy speary boys. We can have them behind there. Then we have you that will only use for charging. And the same thing with you, actually. We'll only use them to charge. You have five charge bonus, so not as good as the lumbermen. But still, you're efficient against armor. And hot diggity. Is that it for my infantry? Is this it? No, we have you as well. And I think you're also good against armor. Yes. And you have six charge bonus. So I will use you with the chargey boys. And there we have some cavalry that I'm thinking would be good to have wherever, actually, you can form uh, stakes. Can't you? Dude, where are the stakes? Have they lost the ability to put down stakes? Maybe I can't because I'm actually attacking something. Okay, that's fair enough. Okay, cool. So there we are. General, you can stand right there. This is gonna be a grind and a half. For show. Make sure to destroy the gate. And you can uh, shoot at the gate as well. And then once it's broken, I will have my archer stand up on this wall. Actually, I'm thinking that it might be a good idea to run or to walk up the, um, the spears just so we can quickly get a dramatic entrance. And you can start walking up as well. There we go, broken. And now they started running through. So maybe if we put you right there. And you don't really need to shoot anymore. What do we have? Done lending long spears. Okay. Put you right there. And you behind. The only... Where are the archers? Where are you, you freaking buggers? Somewhere where there are no... Where they are not hurting my troops, hopefully. So far, they're only running up with defenders, and that's absolutely okay. So, can you, lads? Now we need to slow everything down just a smidge. You have a crappy range, but you have really good accuracy. And you, lads, walk through here. You stand there, and then you just double up the lines. I think this should be good against their... Uh, Long spears. Our soldiers have proved their worth today. The enemy's walls belong to us. I now. think you. Okay, I don't want to use uh, more of my archers than absolutely necessary. Do you get in? Now we can stop shooting, and we'll have you just on guard. And then we'll put you into shield wall and just move all of the units in in shield wall. Um, to hold the lines as much as possible. You are just poking your way through. That's great. Now, I wonder if they've gone through long enough for the archers to be able to run up here. Let's just do a trial run with you. Run up. And we can do a trial run with you as well. Something that we can pretty easily replenish. You run up there as well. You are just poking. That's awesome. And now, I will start moving up the chargey boys as well, get them closed. Um, cavalry, I hope I won't uh, be needing yet to move you up, stand close to the gates where you can, where the effects of the horn blowing can be felt throughout the land. I'm hoping that this strategy works. And also I'm hoping that the archers don't really have to just run through the entire thing in order to um, in order to go up on the wall. And you walk up here as well in guard mode. You should be doing just just fine, just swell, just swimmingly. Just fine, just swell, just swimmingly. There's a song in there, somewhere. Come on, laddies. 
base can run up. There we go. And you run up as well. Oh, yes. That is a good sign. So there we go. And you run up there, please. And you run up there. And now you can start shooting at them. You can start shooting at them. I think this should be... They should be doing so much damage, hopefully. And now let's run up the Dunedain as well. Just so they are close by, you know. So far we've lost 2% kill 10. Though those kinds of odds, those kind of odds are good. And I think now our archers will start doing a real number on uh, their orc defenders. Actually, you can start shooting at them. I think the orc defenders should be shooed up by our infantry soon enough. Come on. There we go. And now, you should actually stop shooting for now. And are all the archers up on the gate? Almost. Let's run you up as well on that side. And you can run up on this side. Look at this. We're doing such a great job. You can start shooting at them now. You can start shooting at them as well. And we should start dealing amazing damage. That's not good though if they're starting to run up on the wall. There we go. Now we can start moving forward. Do you have anything that can ha like ha that has like really good range? Okay, we've killed 29%, 30, we've lost 3%, so so far we're doing a great job. Blow the horn again. And the thing is, I would actually like to see if I can move the catapults in here. And the ballista. But the thing is, we can start moving it up just a smidge. And then we just have cavalry left. I think all of our archers should be up on the walls. Yes. And how about you, my lads? Oh, damn, what are you doing? Okay. Most of you are actually on the wall, so I was dramatic for nothing. But you have a good range. Start shooting at the Orakai archers. And you can start shooting at them as well. And you can start shooting at them as well. Just all of you uh, focus at the archers for now. You can start aiming at the defenders, actually. I'm always just panicking. Orc defenders. And you... Let's see if you can run in real quickly. Now they're starting to find the archers, aren't they? That's not good. <laughs> Let's see if we can run you over here real quick. Come on. Nope. Okay, that's not good. We basically might have just lost one unit of uh, Dunedain. Run. Have some kind of... The enemy are badly bloodied. Have, have some kind of survival instinct. They are broken. Run up and attack them. And we are being attacked on this side as well. All of you, no longer guard mode. You attack them. You attack them. Oh, crap. Crap covered in crap. You are out of ammunition, so you can run up to that wall, please. Keep shooting at the defenders. And it looks like we are actually uh, dealing with that army quite efficiently. We've lost 9%. Not optimal, but could be worse. Now, um, you start marching into attacking the defenders. Actually, we have Urukai bodyguards. You can start shooting at the Urukai bodyguards. So can both of you. You just keep shooting at the Urukai archers, and I'm thinking that this would be a good opportunity to ride in with some cavalry to get some juicy charges off. Good, you actually managed to defend them, that's awesome. Run down. Lost 11%. And I think... 
form shield wall here and they will try to have the uh, archers deal most of the damage. Now we're going to start losing a lot of units to friendly fire. You can attack them. All of the missile units that has ammunition left. Focus your fire on the bodyguards. Actually, is there anything else that I should shoot at? No. So maybe just not shoot for now, actually, because I'm thinking that we might just lose more units than we'd like to to friendly fire. Do you have anything up here that's actually fighting something? That's good that we have some Dunedain uh, Wardens there. That's good. And Orc Defenders. You drop Shield Wall and attack them. Now, how's it going for you? Then move in here. Stand on that side. How are you doing? Some of you are out on the field. That's pretty interesting. And you... Let's see if we can get you to run up and attack the... Actually, no. You're doing a great job there. You... Need to start putting in my chargey boys here. You pull back. Looks like we kill them, no problem. You can attack the orcs, these orc defenders. Attack the orc defenders. There we go. And then once we're done with that, we will uh, completely engulf the um, um, the Urukai bodyguards. Let's see if you can get a good charge off here. Kaboom! That was a good charge. Now you will be doing the same thing on the big, the big gulp. All of you attack them. You run up and attack them. Fortunately, it looks like the uh, Dunedain Wardens are kind of holding their own up here. We have lost a few of them, but it looks like most of the things we've lost are actually Urukai uh, or um, Orc defenders. Now they will be slaughtered by our Watchman Axe Guard. Hopefully slaughtered. There we go. How's it going for you? Just barely getting into position. Can move you just, just closer. And you get a charge off on the Orc defenders. And... I'm back. Ah, boom. Not have been the most op might not have been the most optimal charge actually. So let's pull you back, and we'll have the artillery fire at them. Uh, fire ammo, please. And here we're just going to work on the bodyguard with some pikes and whatnot. There we go. Now we can run in and help there, and you. Start shooting at them, and you start shooting at them as well. Hopefully we'll be able to get some really good shots off here. We have a lot of time left as well. Oh, yes. Going quite well. This kind of warfare I can stand behind. Technically, and practically, and theoretically, and emotionally. Down to 87. And they can just do... Oh my god, that was a beautiful hit. They can just do their thing until we're out of ammunition. Now you can't even hurl cows anymore. But... We're doing a great job there. Now all of our archers that has have ammunition left can walk down and start shooting at them. Actually, you can start with them. Five left. We have all the time in the world. We've lost 19%. I don't think... Um, this general has any good healing abilities or retinues or traits and whatnot. Down to two, down to one. Come on. Where are you going? And... Damn. That's a juicy defender. Run down. And then we can have a cavalry charge him down. I think they should be able to do that without suffering too many casualties. And kaboom! Really? We didn't even get him in the charge. Interesting. Now you pull back. And all of you laddies. 
start shooting at the orc defenders. Oh, damn! I think it's the steel bowmen who absolutely just smushed them. Great job. 19. Let's see how many we healed. 9%. I mean, losing 225 troops, killing 2,000 and gaining Isengard? Yeah, I can live with that. And what did we lose the most of? 83 farm and pikemen. The wardens took a heavy cash, heavy blow. That's okay, but all in all, we didn't lose that many units. And MVPs, 273 on the Watchmen Bogart, 312 on the Sindar Archers. Hot damn, lads. You did a great job. Yeah, this was a day for the uh, Archers for sure. The Sindar Axemen killed 168. That's awesome. But Isengard is ours. And I think that should be... They can't recruit or think Wardens anymore. Or think Guard from Isengard anymore, at least. So that's good. Now I'm just thinking... Um, I would like to give this to Rohan right away, but I don't think if they, I don't think they would get a garrison. That's the issue. And if they don't get a garrison, they won't be able to defend it like at all. But at least we can start with killing, uh, exterminate the population, and all of the all of the money disappeared right away. And what can we destroy? Bonus order due to law. That's good. And destroy that. Mines, pretty good mines. We need that, uh, Brawler's Hole, we can destroy that, and that, and that. Way Station might be good. Catapult Maker might be good, Grog Hole might be good, and Uruk Garrison might be good. So we will get better, we will get um, Defenders, that's good. That's A lot of things are good. So technically, if I give this to Rohan right now, then... Um, if I give this to Rohan right away, then we would be, uh, then they would be getting the military garrison as well. Do we have a spy anywhere that we can yes, my lord. run down here, Isengard capital? I'm thinking if, like this region, which settlement that belongs to, that would be great to know actually. But you are moving down south to move on that stronghold, and you have reinforcements on the way that are a few turns behind, though. I'm not a big fan of that. Will, we do have you, lads, oh. that can start moving down already. Yes. You can actually... March to yes, that's good. Later. And Ulkfurd, you will just be doing your thing, I guess. Do I need two spies in this region? I don't think so. So what I'm going to do is move you over here and then i will start moving you down to this region to get a better look at things at least isengard is done for right now we can leave this army here for now and um then i will give it to and then i will give it to rohan i think that would be a great a little addition for them resistance is futile hell yeah and reginard conqueror of isengard got conqueror of isengard but traits but no effect Dunyard. This army we need to move as well. And it would be nice to have it led by Council Master Barleyman being the faction leader and all. So we move you like towards Bregnas, for example. That's actually yes, my lord. wait with that until the next turn. Right, and these armies, are they already on the move? Yes, they are. Keep moving. Imlad is reached. Oh, shucks. Oh, goody. You move down this way. Maybe walk past this fort and cleanse that real quick. And all of these armies will just keep moving. The Tharbad. Can't retrain them just yet, though. You, I need to... Okay, we have a lot of things to retrain, basically. But uh, we do have another army on its way right there. Which is great. You can get new... Upgrades. New armor upgrades. Okay. And I think all that is basically already queued up. So now, just uh, skip to the next turn and see what that one has um, has in store. Most likely, Isengard is going to be pissed that we took Isengard and, uh, and Baylorn. But let's see what happens in the, ne in the next turn. Oh, not that many movies. Uh, movies. Armies that I forgot to move. 
So that's good. I'm just waiting to see what Dunland is doing and also what Isengard is doing because we might very well be attacked by Dunland at Hyorod right now. They might very well want to break that siege or lay siege to any of the okay they didn't any of the settlements that borders that region because technically they can attack that and like i said i still have no idea where their doomstack is at the uruk tide oh damn isengard will be reclaimed even should saruman need to return by climbing a mountain of his own minions okay cool so i think we should hold isengard and then when once we've uh, done the uh protected against the tide thing then um, then we can give it to Rohan. So we kind of like shield them there first. Okay. 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 You have the highest armor already, I think. You have the weapons upgrade. Okay, if they have the weapons upgrade, then they should be upgrade. And that's only one more. No, you as well. But both of you need to be retrained to maximum numbers first before I start doing anything fun with you. End of turn report, right, total, even less. And in the next one, should be 16. Use are stalled, right, faction announcements, and recruitment reports. Okay, I'm gonna pause the, up the recording again, just to make sure that I move all my troops. Be back in a minute. And we're back. <laughs> a lot of moving troops, but also a lot of retrained troops that, will, that have gotten the... Um, the uh, weapons upgrade, for example, and also, of course, a better armor. And um, as soon as all of them are maximum upgraded, you don't even have the damage upgrade. Hum, hum. Okay, we can retrain you. Right. So put all those units into retraining. I think that's good enough. And soon you'll have the Dunedin armor, and then we'll have to do this carousel all over again. All of you need to go to Londair as well. Uh, right. A lot of movie, uh, movies. A lot of units moving around. Which will hopefully help uh, to conquer Isengard. War declared between the High Elves and Dominion of Isengard. Right on! Let's go! Let's go! And you, my lads, will keep walking. I better keep on walking. And now, um... Where did start moving? As you wish. I did start moving a general as well, as I recall. By your command, march to exhaust. So many armies moving around everywhere. All moved down to Bree. Your will, my lord. Bree as well, or actually, yeah, why not Bree? I don't think any one of you can be. Re yeah, you should be able to retrain there. Righto, righto. Yes. We'll and now the question is... Where is the general? He's right there. And you'll be moving up to Karn Doom. And hopefully you'll be able to hold the piece there just fine. All of you can actually move into Barch Leg. And then we'll see if we can retrain... Can retrain some of you. That's good. So now you and you can actually keep going down to Bree, I guess. You should be able to be retrained there. no further today. And that's looking pretty good. A lot of armies on the move, and as you can see, it's really taking a toll on my economy. But 10 grand is in construction right now. Most, I mean, I think we've increased our army upkeep by like 20 grand just in this episode alone, almost. Hot diggity. But who said waging war is cheap? And this might be the army to reclaim Isengard. It would be a lot of fun, actually, to um, your will, my lord, to fight that one. And when this army is full with some better infantry, actually, we don't have any infantry on its way over there. So I'm thinking that we should take um, infantry from this one Orders. with my decent lord. enough movement points. Your Damn, something like this, I guess. How many can you take? A lot. And I guess that what we can't take with us, we might as well just leave in the fort. Either way, we need to move uh, troops south all the time. All the time. Okay, and now it's time for us to move. You, 
we'll keep moving to this uh, stronghold. And you keeping an eye on whatever's going on here. Yes, This is good. It would be nice to get some trash units just to uh, make it easier claiming the stronghold. But, you know, can't get everything. You keep walking, and this reinforcing army keep walking as well. Hopefully they won't be attacked. No fool, send your emissary to me. Send your emissary to me. Yee. Right, and now I think we are ready to end the turn again. Damn. Still didn't remember to move all my troops. Yeah. I think we need to wrap up the episode as well, but I've been having such a good time playing this one. Had an absolute hoot. And also, it's good that we have started to nibble at Isengard. You can see on the done landings. Do you want peace? Absolute cowards. Try words and not yeah, how about no? We understand your Until we meet again. How about no? Isengard didn't do anything, so they didn't even lay siege to Isengard yet. But at least it's good that some of the black zones down here... Um, are getting are becoming white instead, giving it to Gondor. Can't afford them. Sheriff's Gindled in Mount Graham. Use are stalled. I'm thinking that I might just have to take a brief little break in uh, in recruiting. Actually, Londair. Just retrain everything. Lond Angren. Ooh, actually. We train you, and then we can start training some stuff here to send south. Okay. So much for taking a break in recruiting, but I really need to do that, because otherwise... I'm gonna be super, super broke. And just take a couple of turns to uh, invest in uh, building instead. Just look at all the recruitments I'm doing right now. Okay, another break. In recording be back in a minute yeah and I think that's gonna be a good enough maintenance <laughs> for now most likely I haven't moved everything that I should have moved okay and you are actually reinforcing so let's just lay siege this one for now start building some uh, sieging equipment and you will be reinforced by some trashy boys yes uh, that we have room for so that's good we are flat broke right now and yes, you are looking at Bregnas. I'm thinking that with this army, I would like to, first of all, kill these lads. And then maybe move on to Bregnas with that one. And uh, reinforce them with armies from here. My lord. And uh, worth noting is that, I mean, it's a pretty rounded, well-rounded army. We didn't even reach them. It looked like we could reach them. Oh no. So now we might get um, surrounded and trapped Things and killed and whatnot. Get better between us. Okay, okay, okay. We're still retraining everything we can here at Londaire. But it takes a while. Can we get more recruitment slots somehow? Don't think so. Yes, by this one. But we're so broke. So now we're just moving all of our armies around, making sure that we are getting them to a good location. Your will, my lord. And yes, Isengard still not attacked. But I think we should be able to hold this one just fine. Just fine. As long as they don't attack the walls. But we can just have our archers up there. That would be great. My lord. But I think this is a good time to round it off. I still can't really find... Can't find the invisible army anywhere. And that kind of stresses me out. To be honest, Your will, my lord. would be nice to be able to do that. Also, I'm thinking that I need to start moving um, this army out of here as well. Because this uh, Brathor is just a, too good of a general to have in the field. Um, to have him withering away in Tharbad. My lord. And the same thing with these units are here. I will move my faction leader out as well. And then we will really start pushing on Isengard. We're laying siege here. That's gonna take... They can hold out for 8 turns. Now we're laying siege to them. You can stand over here. 
have a good visibility of if they start sending reinforcements. And Tharagrondost obviously will be given to Gondor uh, right away. Hmm. This looks a bit more zoomed out than it should be. Whatever. Or zoomed in than it should be. Okay, and you will keep moving towards Karn Doom. Continuing tomorrow. I mean, we have units to recruit. We're just, we just can't afford to recruit them right now. And I'm already putting way too much resources into recruiting units. So I will need to take a brief little break from recruiting. Because otherwise I will be absolutely bankrupt. Still have 11.5k in the bank. Actually, I'm thinking that I'm going to play some more. Give it one more turn, can I? You start moving down. I don't think we're gonna be able to do to get another battle going though, so we can have one more turn. A lot of armies moving around. Damn, I mean, no matter how much I think that I moved everyone. I still don't, so I'm thinking that I should not move them like trickle them down, even though I think that's the more sustainable way to go. Um, but rather just keep them in the settlements until I can move bigger squads at once so we don't have like one two three four squads in a row you yeah, know let's see dominion of isengard what are you gonna do what are you gonna do? nothing and neither did dunland nothing you don't you can't dare you don't dare doing anything sheriff's guild still can't afford that my lord and join up these armies can't get you in there just yet Okay, four units that so we should move in. Uh, like, I guess this. You could go in. Oh, we actually room for three more. Where did I get four from? Oh man, my math skills are absolutely horrendous. Get you in there. Oh, it was four or five even that I can retrain. Something like this. And I will not be... Wooden castle ready to upgrade. Yes, upgrade. And queues are stalled. Yes, indeed, they are. Faction announcements. And construction reports. This is good. And for now, I won't be starting any more recruitments. And I won't be starting any more... Uh, a whole bunch of retrained units. And I won't be starting any more uh, recruitments or constructions. Until I am... Certain... That I'm starting to make money again. Will, Everyone with the damage will, upgrade. Will, I guess something like this. Will, and start moving down south. Don't no need to move them to Tharbad. You can move them just straight to Dunyard actually. Like gather the army at Dunhado instead of Dunhado. We'll just have Dunyard. You're on your way as well. That would be so sweet. You can join up with them. Oh my freaking armies that we have on the move. And now we see a banner there. I wonder if that means that they are ready to be attacked. But we can just siege them down actually. I'm no in no rush. Londair. Just keep amassing troops there until they have a full stack to start moving out. You actually actually need uh, to be upgraded. So we need to move you into Londair as well. Have diggity. All of you, march down as well. Do we have anyone here that has a weapons upgrade? If they do... Then I can move them to the fort. Something like this, I think. Would be good enough. There we go. And... We have a general. Yes, my lord. Who... Doesn't need to be upgraded, it seems. So, we have someone to lead... No, was it someone else? It was his twin, wasn't it? That should be somewhere around here. Where are you, you bugger? Okay, let's just look at it this way, then. Military forces. The twins. Number one of the twins. orders, my lord. Okay, you're in Alkford. Yes. You're in Lanter. Oh, right. So it wasn't. It was actually you that I could move out. So move you in there. Good. 
Now we're starting to have an army here as well that we can start moving. And soon we can get the army from Olkford to move as well. And alright. That our army actually kind of fled-ish. Although it looks like Isengard is coming to uh, assist down at Theragrondost. So I'm thinking... Can you hide? Possible. Your will, my lord. By your command. No, you can't. So, start pushing you towards Gind. And then I'll and I'll take this army towards Bregnas. Actually, I'm kind of contemplating that we don't have the time to spare to wait for reinforcements. We do have some infantry. And we have uh, artillery to just move them towards Bregnas. Let's do that. Oh my god, we're losing so much money by not having him um, in the in the settlement. But move you towards Bregnas, you'll be attacking there in the next turn. Isengard is still standing strong. We can start retraining troops here, that's good. And I absolutely want to soak up some, um, some charges here before I move out of Isengard. Now, you... Keep walking. We can go no further today. And you Orders. replace him. And now. Biographer. Can't give him that trait. Master Smith. Can't give him that trait. Military engineer. Nope. I want that. Guard dog. Personal security, public security, and loyalty. I actually want that with him, to be honest. Overseer. That's something I can give him. And then... Doctor, I want farming advisor. I think that's the last one, right? Yes. Give that to him. Then move you out with some farmhand pikemen. Oh, losing a lot of money in that. But I think... Um, they'll warm up to you. Eventually. Might need... The culture is good. Why are they so pissed? Unrest. Squalor. Right. How do we decrease squalor? I wonder. Man, how do you decrease squalor? Because of population growth, it's diminishing. We have a lot of law, we have some governor's influence, buildings of entertainment, health, traveler's lodge, maybe. And even more law. I think that would be good. Happiness, culture. And, okay, let's just get the... That's 15 and that's 10. But, okay, we also need to decrease the corruption. So let's get the way station. And then eventually, once we can afford it, yes, they we should Lord. be happy enough. Move in there. And I will be taking units from Barchleg. To join up with you. Your orders, my lord. Actually, you can move oh, into Barchleg. And both of you lads you will be marching down here. Orders. You can go into the fort for now. Retinue expansions, that's because I handed them over, so nothing really major there. Good. As soon as I've, I have so many armies that I need to start moving. And you should be right here in the fort already, so you're good. Let's actually move you down to Londangren instead. And Londangren, you have the Dunedain armor, so you can start taking armies uh, to your place instead. That's good. Good. And I would very much like to move, actually... Um, I would very much like to move this army towards Bregnas instead, but I mean, we do already have an army on its way there. This is risky as hell. They might be attacked whenever, wherever. Bregnas. We don't have an agent in there yet. We just need to take, get a brief look at the spies that we have. You're in Byrig, no use of having you there. Start marching down here. Through our lowlands, you can start moving down south as well. Approaching and for Lindon, right. 
I need to check how much money I get for that. My lord. I get for that mine. Still, you're still in good place. 64% chance getting into Gind. I don't think that's worth it. You start moving down south. Tomorrow's journey, my lord. And you're good there. Let's actually move you over there instead because we have these spies. We can stand right in the middle here. That's good. My lord, my lord. You're good. And then part of Eor, you're good as well. Ports of Eisen, that's good. You're good there. Rasmurdil, you're also good. Let's actually get you. No, you can stand there. So many spies, so many spies, so little time. Lord. Oh, really? Felt like I already. Okay. More of a tarth. Start moving you. No real idea where. I know you can't walk through there, so might as well move you this way. Approaching quietly. And Dunyard. You're inside of Dunyard. You can start moving you this way instead. I shall continue tomorrow. I pass Fords of Ice, and I think we moved everyone now. Now let's see how much money you can make by standing here instead. 4.9k. Can you walk there though? Let's see if you can. It would be so worth it if you can uh, collect on that mine instead. Great, 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 great. We have four armies here. Mikkel Delving, you. Cannot recruit any more elves yet. That's too bad. Too bad, too bad, too bad, too bad, too bad. Now, I think we should give it another turn. See what happens. Or you could, I guess, theoretically attack here now. And it would be really even. They have some crossbows. But also, they are a... Um, it... A, it's a um, stronghold, Your will, my lord. so they would be able to hold strong for quite a while. Let's see if we can just get some more archers yes, in there, sir. and then I guess do our absolute best at just shooting them down. Orders. Cool. My lord. Let's just end the turn and see what happens. And I know I will have a lot of armies that have... Okay, actually just three that I forgot to move. And now it's starting to get really messy with all the armies that I have everywhere that I need to move. And that, of course, um, yeah, it makes it really, really messy. And that's why I'm trying to rather collect troops in the settlements where I recruit them. And then I can move them out of the settlements like big clusters instead. That might, um, that is going to lead to the front line not getting reinforcements as often. But hopefully we'll be able to hold out just fine instead. Uh, at, um, either way. Yes, Mount Graham. End of turn report, right, just less and less money, while our, oh my god, we really need to start losing troops, mission failed, what do you want me to do? Oh right, you wanted me to, the merchant's guild is impressed with you, sounds like a good thing. A lot of retinue expansions, some constructions being finished, that's okay. And a lot of recruitments, most of them are just retrained, Bree, Tharbad, Londaire, I guess is the um, are the main places. My lord, orders. Your will. So let's move the ones of you who I can move. Orders. Let's see. My lord. You are not retrained yet. Neither are you. But this should be fine now. So you start moving. You can move into this army, then start to keep moving south. And then we have Tharabad and Londaire. Anyone with an armor upgrade? Anyone with an armor upgrade and a pulse? Need to move into that fort. And you keep moving south towards Dunyard. Actually, do we have a general there? No, we don't. Going to Dunyard. Still nothing happening down here. Ooh. Your orders, my lord. We can take Bregnas in one turn, my I think. Lord. So maybe As you yes, my lord. we can try doing that. And then we can end the episode there. As you command, I would be the balance of power would be pretty good in our favor, actually. So let's just not do that 
battle just yet. Uh, Hiorot is rotting away. Your orders, my lord. You move into that army. Alone there. Everyone with host. weapons upgrades. Orders, my lord. And you, I guess, orders. move down to this army. And then you can start moving, actually. Think, damn, we need them at so many different locations. Down here. And I actually yes, need to attempt at taking this settlement as well now. Um, yes. Gondor is on the move. That's awesome to see. And you. I think if we are able to kill this army with mine, which I don't think we will be able to do, we should be getting an uh, hero on Man of the Hour. So I'm going to... Okay, there's so many things to do. Let's just take uh, aim at taking Bregnas first. Yes, my lord. Would be awesome if we're able to take it with this absolute ragtag army. With one turn. Let's just give it a shot. E Worst case scenario, we need to pull back. Fight the battle on the map. Like I said, worst case scenario, we just won't be able to hold it. But my plan is to try to like attack with maybe the ballista from one end and the catapults on the other end. And then we'll spread them out and their armies won't be able to cover both gates, hopefully. Just like I did at in a previous siege. Can we get better weather? No, but we can get worse weather. Okay, good enough. Okay. Oh, so I don't even know where their armies are going to spawn. Interesting. But like I said, I'll put the catapult in one end with some units. And then we'll have the ballista on the other end with some other units. With a bigger army, actually. So I'm thinking. Uh, we will need spears over on that end. So we're gonna do it like this, just in case the wargs decide to charge out. Start. And then you get into position. And the infantry right behind you. You can start getting into position as well. It would be so great if they decided to just uh, retreat to the square. That would make me a happy camper. Looks like that just might be the case as well. So I'm thinking. Um, infantry. Or maybe just all the troops. Except for you. I want you back here. You can start moving. Um, so you can easily get in through the gate. And it looks like. Oh the warg marauders are over there. Interesting. So I guess. Start shooting at the org, uh, Warg Marauders. And we'll use you to shoot down the reinforced gates. And we need to run you away. So you don't get attacked. Now. Blow it all down. Okay, you didn't actually attack anything. You are going to soak up that charge. You pull back a little bit. And yes, the journeymen are going to take uh, get quite a beating. Like this, we will smash the enemy. Oh, damn. Absolutely getting shooed up by the Warg Marauders. But the Spears are doing a great job. Now, slow everything down. We've already lost 7% in that charge. And now, let's move you up here and you can start uh, blasting down the gate. 27%? What the hell is this? We need to really move you up then. And you move you up real close as well. So we can start shooting down the gate. There we go. And then... Who is left here? Right, you can start moving up. And you. 
Could we use flaming shots, maybe, if that helps. Looks like it helps. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe they just... Oh, damn. Maybe they just hit better. Okay, everyone here. Save for the catapults. Okay, now they're coming. So. You... Actually, we rather need to run back here. Uh, so we don't get shot by their we towers. The enemy's walls. Yeah. There we go. And now, the units that we have on this side. All of you need to just start charging in. Unfortunately. Oh, yeah. Our soldiers have proved their worth today. The enemy's walls you can keep shooting now. here and hopefully we'll be able to... Uh, catch them before they start shooting at my units. That's good. On this side. We can actually maybe just keep the troops as they are. You can maybe just start shooting down the towers. If it works. Okay. On the other side. Doing a great job. What's left? Urukai, Warg Marauders, and Urukai Pikemen. Okay. That's no problem. Need you to run in and start shooting at them. I think we're going to run in with you as well. And you. And you somehow just. Form a shield wall and just clog this room up, please. And you. Can run up behind them. Okay, now everyone start to run back. You destroy that tower as well, just to make sure. Also thinking that it would be a fun idea to just run in with the bandits, just to make sure that we don't need to um, pay their upkeep anymore. Even though they're not really that expensive, but, you know. There we go, everyone's running in. How's it going for you, my lad? Oh, can you already hit them? I'm thinking, oh my, okay, I'm thinking that you can stand. Okay, they're actually running towards us, that's great. Keep shooting, and we can increase the speed just a smidge. Now let's see if we can move you up until you can start shooting at the Urukai Pikemen. Yeah. That all changed rapidly, but as you can see, their armor is way too thick, and their shields too broad. But let's just hope that the pikemen will be that the farmhand pikemen will be able to oh they will be absolutely chewed up but i'm just thinking while the um uh while the uh dunedain rangers get some good shots off hopefully they can at least just hold how's it going for you right i'm thinking that all of these lads now can charge in. Run in. Or walk. Whatever the pikeman wants to do. Uh, actually, I think the farmhand pikeman might be doing okay so far. Not optimal. I mean, look at them. They are dying, but they are holding uh, just fine against some of the strongest pikemen in a Z game. Now you can start shooting at them. And let's see if you can get a good angle. You can start shooting at the Vorgs, actually. If we put you right here. And then have you start shooting at the Vorgs. Oh, that angle is absolutely horrendous. I will not stand for it. Really? Can't you get a better angle? Some of them are getting a decent angle. Others, not so much. Right, now you... And run in until you can shoot at them. And you can run in and attack the Warg Marauders. I don't really mind losing bandits. The only thing they're good for basically is, well, holding a ram. 
can be good for that as well. And yes, now we're getting some really good shots off on the Orc Urukai Pikemen, although they're still pretty strong. We lost 9%, killed 65. That's decent. Only three War Marauders left. Two. Let's actually run you into a better position. And all of you can walk towards them. You can start walking as well. Because I think the um, the gatekeepers will be doing a decent enough job. I wonder if the farmhand pikemen actually have gotten any kills on these Urukai pikemen. I don't think so. You can just stand in guard mode actually. Now. If we continue like this, we will shoot at them. The Two. I think with one volley they should be down to zero. But this is their captain as well. There we go. Oh, it wasn't? Oh, right. The pikeman was actually Our the captain. Have taken control of the city. Are they going to move back now? Nope. They are not. Where are the journeymen? Hopefully you're on your way. And now, start shooting at the Urukai pikemen. And then I would like for you to stand in decent positions as well. Absolutely rain down fire upon them. And you can run over on this side. The farm and pikemen are actually doing a great job. We're taking a lot of casualties there, but I think that's okay. Oh my Jesus, the crossbow bolts. Might deal more damage to us than we do to the farm and pikemen, actually. But we can easily replenish them. Don't know why we're standing all weird and whatnot. We can end the battle. We lost 13%. Heal 2%. That's okay. Uh, lost 162 units. MVPs being the gatekeepers. What did the farm and pikemen? 82 lost. 6 casualties inflicted. 35 de dead in friendly fire. So okay. They are not efficient against the Urukai pikemen. But Bregnas is taken, and that's good. We are making headway. I don't remember if I should give Bregnas to Gondor or to Rohan, to be honest. Um, well, I do need to give them, give it to someone. Bregnas sounds like a Rohan settlement, to be honest. But we also need to protect it against Laglun. Glory, honor, and victory. let's... Okay, they're happy enough because we have the... It's just a city. Let's sack the settlement. Uh, it, it's happy because we have our faction leader in here. If we wouldn't, they would not be as happy. We can lower the taxes just a smidge. And then start destroying stuff. Oh, dungeon. Public building income 100. Hot damn. And then destroy what we don't really need. Brawler's pit, right. Ballista maker we can use. So it wasn't that much that we could destroy. Although we could get some of it. Now, with you, can Whoa. I just move out? We can't afford a tower, or we can't build one for yes. another reason. Cannot construct watchtower here. Okay, well then just move back, I guess. Yes, my lord. Poor man's watch poor man's spy. And stand yes. close to ice and run. Okay, Bregnas is taken. You will be doing some good stuff. I will be aiming for this army, I think, with the next one. We'll just line up, deal as much damage as possible. That's going to be fun. And we will need to start the next episode with attacking here as well. That's going to be a brutal one. Would be nice if we can uh, draw them out with just some smaller squad next to them. Actually, what if I could just put these lads on the bridge and wait for someone to attack us. Let's do that. Yes. Stand them right here. We have a couple of generals spread out. But okay. Now. My lord. This is something I, we need to be worried about. But we do have reinforcements on the way. This is looking good so far.
looking quite good. And path blocked, really, right. Looking quite good. And uh, in the next episode, I think it's going to be... I think the next episode is going to be uh, really interesting to see when Isengard strikes back at this uh, sign of aggression that I've clearly shown. And... Um, and I'm just going to try to have a train of reinforcements come after me while I just reclaim the western sides of Gondor and just give all that back to Gondor. And also, hopefully, uh, I will be attacked at Isengard, defend that, and then I can give it over to uh, Rohan. I would absolutely love to be able to give Isengard to Rohan. That would be such a middle finger to them. Okay, I can get, I can attack the Fulberg. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. In the next episode, I will give Isengard. Start with giving, uh, start with giving Isengard to Rohan, and then I'll move in and take the Fulberg. Then maybe Ice and Run would be fun. Maybe we should attack them instead. Lay siege to uh, Ice and Run. But Fulberg, Fulberg is easy, and so okay, Saruman is there. That settles it. We'll give Isengard to Rohan. We will move this entire army into Fulberg. Killed Sauron. The thing is, we're Bree, so Sauron might appear in Bree and cause uh, and wreak some havoc. This army in Bregnas will be reinforced, and then we'll move on to Gind. Yeah. Yes, my lord. This is gonna be interesting, and you. Yes. And move into that fort for now, and then in the next turn, move it down to Londangren for retraining. Okay, shit's going down. It's gonna be awesome. So thank you for watching this episode. It became a really long one, but I had an absolute blast. I had such a good time. Just hope that I didn't mess up the recording somehow. That would be so much like me to do. And also, like I said, we won't be putting much more money into recruitment. Currently, we just have 5k into recruitment. But we need to lower our army upkeep into like 40, the 40,000 category. Um, and start investing in construction instead. Because our armies are taking up a lot of resources right now. But that's the way we want it. Because the armies are actually being put to good use. Somewhere. And we'll just retrain whatever we can. Okay. And they are being put to good use. And that's the most important thing. They're being put to uh, restoring Gondor and assisting Rohan. Yes. So again, big thank you for watching. If you watched it this far. And I think, and in the next um, series that I will be playing, I need to play an orc faction. So any tips or recommendations or requests on that front, please feel free to write them in the comments below. Have a great day, take care, and I will see you in the next episode.